What's up again, Weedle Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going through some of my binders. Actually, a lot of my binders. Pretty much anything that's not a specific set binder. Um, this is a lot of what I have. I do have a couple of other things I wanted to show. I don't know if I brought them out here. I think I forgot them in the room. But either way, here's the two most recent giveaways I'm going to be having going on right now. We have the 450 subscriber giveaway, which is the Lunala GX. It's a PSA 8. That's the Sun and Moon base set. And then we have the... Uh, Team Rocket Dark Vile Plume. That is a PSA 6. That's a 500 subscriber giveaway. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll get you guys entered in on these when we hit those subscriber marks. We're not too far off of the 450. Uh, I don't know how far we are. It's going to be like 40 or something like that. So that's not too bad. So we'll move these guys aside. There are a couple of Zarg giveaways later on also. <coughs> Some of the higher subscribe marks that we get to. But let's start off with... The white binder. This one is basically just a bunch of the hits that I got that don't fit into the sets or I don't need currently. Ooh. Let's keep this guy centered. There we go. Keep you guys so you can see everything. I have one binder that you might not be able to see everything in. So this is just extra hits, I guess you could say. Um, I've thought about grading a lot of these with with uh, GMA. GMA is fairly inexpensive. It's about $8 a card when you grade 100 or more. So I thought maybe if I grade them, a lot of them would be really cool giveaways, things like that. Or if I decided to sell some cards, that'd be a good way to go about it. Those are the end of the regulars for that one. Then we get into the Japanese sets and the promos are after this. So as you can see, I get a lot. The next binder is even more. I have the next binder split up into sets extra cards from the sets Charizard so there's quite a few things uh, I believe this is where the promos start right here yeah right here is where the promos start quite a few nice cards in here we got the uh, the Zacian V Union card in here which is pretty cool all promos that one from is that the uh, hidden fates promo maybe that's what it looks like and then we have all of these guys all of these promos obviously i've opened a lot of double boxes champions path boxes all right let's get into the big boy i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this whole binder or not but we'll see we'll try without hitting the stand here oh, it looks like you might be able to see them all that's pretty cool all right so this one <clears throat> it's split up into sets i don't know what sets these are maybe generations is maybe what this is but i don't really know 100 percent. i did open a little bit of generations so it was very possible that this is generations or maybe this is generations i think this is i don't know let me know down below if you know what it is this is definitely generations i believe these two requazas are from generations I don't know. Maybe these are. I don't know. I have no idea. You Let me know down below if you actually know. But anyway, these are all split up into sets. So any extra cards that I had from a set or sets that I'm not completing, I put into this binder here. All separated into sets, which is cool in my opinion. So there's a lot of really good cards in here. A lot of hitters in here. A lot of cards that you wouldn't think are as, as valuable as they are. But... We'll just keep on trucking along here. Quite a few good cards in here. I have a lot of cards in here that I really like. Some cards I want specifically to get graded just for my own personal collection. But a lot of these, I mean, not really. I love this card. I love the uh, the promo version of this card, which I have somewhere too. But I don't know what I did with it. I think I left it in my room. All of the Jirachis from the Jirachi box. I believe I have one of those still sealed also. It's usually a background in my videos. I believe these guys were promos from the trainer box. All of the babies. Eventually we'll start getting to sets that I can remember what the symbol is. Like this, I believe the sword and shield base set. I've opened quite a bit of sword and shield base set. 
I don't know what this is, maybe Rebel Clash or something like that. I don't remember. And then we get into Darkness Ablaze. I've definitely opened a lot of Darkness Ablaze. I've probably opened more Darkness Ablaze than almost any other set other than Battle Styles. And Battle Styles I've had horrible luck with, but I've opened so much Battle Styles and probably had the worst luck ever with all of it. I haven't pulled, actually, I just recently in another video, just recently pulled an alternate art for Battle Styles. So that tells you how much bad luck I've had. And I've opened a booster case. So six booster boxes at least, not including what else I've bought in between. And no alternate arts except for that one. So I've had some pretty bad luck with it. Definitely not a great set. The Shining Fates, it looks like. Opened quite a bit of Shining Fates. Chilling Rain. A lot of Chilling Rain also. I still haven't completed this. I'm missing a lot from Chilling Rain. And then Evolving Skies is a set that I'm not completing. Uh, I'm, I have so many other sets I want to complete first uh, that I've already started. So I figured I'd complete those and then maybe I'd finish this set. Because I have a lot of the cards from this set already. I mean, one alternate art from this set. Moving on to the Baby Shinies. Shining Ho-Oh, got a couple of them guys. The Jirachi, a couple of Volcanions, a couple of Hidden Fates cards in here. A lot of Shining Fates. There's also some uh, Shiny Star V in here. I believe this is Shiny Star V. That came from my uh, my God Pack, I believe. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that video. I did get a God Pack in my first ever Shining Fates booster box. Or not Shining Fates. Shiny Star V booster box, and then I pulled the Charizard out of the second booster box that I got, which was funny. To me, anyway. I got the whole line up here. Very nice. So this is a Shining Legend, Shining Fates, and Hidden Fates, I believe, is what all those are. The Kafifi, that's one of my favorite, favorite baby shinies ever. And then we got some amazing rares in here. Somehow I only have the one Rayquaza. I believe I have one in the binder also, but in the uh, Vivid Voltage binder. Loads of amazing rares. So that finishes off that binder. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. And we'll get the full art trainers and stuff like that in here. Show you some of those, the gold cards, whatnot. All right, now I've heard that some of these are worth quite a bit of money. I don't really know because I haven't really looked them up, but I've heard some of them are worth quite a bit. But uh, this is, you know, my own personal collection. I try not to sell any of them. Unless I really have to, which is very, very, very rare that I have to actually sell anything. Uh, pretty much doesn't happen. So, that light's a little too shiny right there. Let's move that out of the way. Back you up. There you go. I'll move you over. There we go. Still a little bit of light there. The Team Rocket Handiwork. Handiwork. That's one of my favorite trainers ever. That's such a cool card. I love the R in the background, how the trainers are kind of like filling in that R. I thought that was really cool. More full art trainers. Now these I don't think are really in set order. I think they're just kind of thrown in however they are. There's that Marnie from that Marnie box. That was really hard to find. Then we got the rainbow trainers. I guess I only have four rainbow trainers. And some rainbow Pokemon in here. We got loads of rainbow Pokemon. Then we move on to the golds. Got quite a few golds. And then the full art shinies. There's quite a few of these here. And then some more gold, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I put these ones here and the other ones up there. I don't really know the difference between them. I don't know why I separated them, but I did. So these are back here. And then the all art cards. I thought those were cool, so I put them in there. Is there anything else in here? Let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything else in there. There's nothing else in there. So that is the Mewtwo binder. Has some pretty good cards in there. I cannot lie about that. Now these next few binders are just a bunch of random cards from Wizards of the Coast, mostly. Mostly like base set, things like that. I think this is um, the original 151 in order for what I had. Basically, not just from base set, it's from, you know, base two, jungle, fossil, there's some Neo and stuff in here. Obviously, there's some of these tops cards in here also. Every single card in this binder is in a sleeve. Every one of them. So, you know, 
said, I mean, this is uh, not Wizards of the Coast. This is the newer set. This is not Wizards of the Coast. But most of this, most of this is Wizards of the Coast. Obviously, I put the Charmanders and the Squirrels in the opposite side. For whatever reason, I put fire after water. I don't know why. It actually goes the other way around, but it's all right. I already put it in. I didn't feel like changing it. So there's a shiny Charmander in here. I didn't have a shiny Charmeleon. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a shiny Charmeleon. So that didn't make it into the binder. Obviously, we have the Weedles. Got basically an entire page's worth of Weedles. Let you stay in there. So we'll just kind of zip through this pretty quickly. You can see it's mostly just random cards, some E-Series cards in here. Another one of my binders has some pretty nice E-Series cards in it too. Clefable, is that a rare? Might be a rare, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, one of my favorite Vulpix is, why aren't they that far apart? They should have been right next to each other. Either way, it's whatever, it's whatever, who cares? Now onto the green places, the Golbats and the Zubats. Oddishes and Paris, Parasects. Now I got a load of Meowths. Loads of Meowths. My cat running around my house. That's such a cool card. And that's a, uh, a no rarity symbol, actually, I believe, right? I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's no symbol down there. So no rarity symbol, Japanese Kadabra, which is pretty cool. Cat's going crazy out there, playing with a dog. Let me know if you guys see anything in here that I'm not noticing, anything cool, anything extra rare that I didn't notice. Cause I kind of just put everything in here. I haven't really gone through these cards a lot. I've had these cards for a long time, but I've never really actually gone through them to check them out. So I'm not really 100% sure of what all's in here. That is that binder. Move on to the next binder, the green binder. Actually, the first green binder. What are these animals doing? I can hear my dog just whining at my cat because she's running all over the house like a psychopath. All right, so I don't really know 100% on what this binder is. I think it's just cards thrown in. I think. I don't really know. Ooh. Yeah, it sort of looks like it looks like it's just a bunch of cards just kind of thrown in here maybe it's just extras that i had laying around maybe it's by set i honestly i i don't know it doesn't look like it's by set it doesn't look like there's really any order to it to be honest with you it's just kind of all thrown together yeah kind of zip through this one also let me know if you see anything from this one also I don't think there's any shadowless in here. What are you doing, Bill? What are you running all over the house for? Calm down. My dog's a little hyper right now for some reason. Never hyper. He's the calmest husky I've ever seen in my life. Let's see. More. More, more, more. That's a rarity. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't matter. It's not a. It's not one of the Gym Heroes or Gym Challenge sets, the Gym Series sets. A couple of Eevees in there. Maybe more stuff. Now some of these cards are a little rough and a lot of them are in really good shape. Some of these cards I had that I made trades from other kids when I was younger, collections that I got from other kids as they decided to get out of Pokemon. And some of them just weren't in the best condition when I was younger. But my own collection, I try to take the best care of that I could for what I had left after making a stupid decision when I was younger and selling my entire collection when I was 14, which was really dumb because there was a lot of cards in there that are worth a lot of money right now. But it is what it is. We'll get into the second green binder. Again, I'm not 100% sure what's on this one either, but it looks like there's some decent stuff in here. We got some Pikachus and Charmanders in here from base set or jungle and base set anyway. Ooh, very nice. It's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Is that a no rarity? Another no rarity symbol. That's cool. See? Things you just don't really notice. Now I want the Japanese version of this because it's hilarious. It looks like he's looking up a girl's skirt. 
I still haven't found that card, at least not in a price range that I'd want to pay for it. I have found it, obviously. I just don't want to pay $30, $40 for however much it is on eBay. It's insane. So again, it's just kind of mixed together. Like I said, I don't feel like taking all these binders apart and redoing them and making them something completely different. So they will just be what they are. I'll add to them as I go. Electabuzzes. Some of these cards I got from the farmer's market actually not too long ago. A guy was selling like packs, like fake packs. I guess you can say he puts them together with, you know, sets that he's bought. And he was selling them for a dollar and they were coming with like one of these, one of these, and then a bunch of energy and trainers and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now I thought that I had all the rares out of here, but I guess not because I think this Pharaoh is a rare. So maybe I just have a mix. That's Skyridge. That's cool. Skyridge cards in here. Maybe these are separated by sets. That would make sense. I'm seeing an Aquapolis. I'm seeing Sky Ridge separately. Yeah, they are. Okay. So I guess this is also sets by the looks of it. Togepi. Rhydon. It's got like that Nitto King vibe to it. It's kind of what it looked like. It's cool Charmanders. Those are from the... Uh, one of the decks, I don't remember what deck it is, but it's from a deck. More Charmanders for some reason. Bunch of trainer cards. I have a, got a Weedle crawling on his shoulder. You see that? Never even noticed that. That's pretty exciting. More trainer cards. I think the trainers are even in order, it looks like. I have a lot of trainer cards. Loads of trainer cards. Holy crap. Any Sky Ridge in here? Doesn't look like... Oh, there is. Four Sky Ridge trainers. Not bad, not bad. I think this is going to do it for this binder. <laughs> Just more random stuff at the end. We got some vending machine. I didn't even know that was in there. That's pretty cool. The Pikachu, for some reason. That wasn't a bad binder either. Some pretty cool stuff in these binders. It's been a while since I've actually really looked through these binders. I have three more to go. Uh, the next three, I believe, are, are pretty good, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they're pretty good. What is actually, what is this one? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the next one is. So this one's uh, first edition stuff and just random collection stuff, I guess I could say. There's like my Pikachu collections in here, uh, my Weedle collections in here. There's some other stuff in here that's pretty cool. So these are some of the, actually, this is pretty much all the first edition stuff that I have that's not at PSA currently. So some decent stuff in here. These will eventually all have to get graded too because first edition is always cool to get graded. It's a massive dog hair in here. And we'll skip ahead to the Pikachu collection. The original Happy Birthday Pikachu. I have another one of these. I just got to find it. I think it's on my Pikachu shelf. There's loads and loads of Pikachus in here. I wish that was the gold star, but it's not. Let's see, next, next page. If you guys are seeing anything here that's super rare, super valuable, let me know. Because again, I really haven't looked any of them up, to be honest with you. Is the rainbow Pikachu still in here? No, I think I put that in the binder already. My Vivid Voltage binder has the rainbow Pikachu in it, and it also has the pink background Pikachu. These I found at Dollar General or a Dollar Tree or whatever it was. They had the three card packs and you get a mystery card on the inside. And every once in a while it would have one of these Pikachus in it. And if you looked sideways through the thing, you can see what the extra card was. So I just looked for all of them with the Pikachus in them. And I uh, went ahead and grabbed those. I was trying to get all of them. I think there's like seven in total. I have three or four at PSA right now, which hopefully should be coming back at any time. I sent them last October. So they've been there a long time. <laughs> All right, just more Pikachus. We got some, oh, that's a first edition Pikachu. That one's destroyed. That's really bad. A couple of red cheeks in here, which is really cool. I should probably send those. I think these are the um, cracked ice, which is why they're up there. Base set, base set two jungle Pikachus. Flying Pikachu. Black Star promo Pikachus. The Pika Libre, Pikachu Libre, the Nacho Libre Pikachu, which I thought was pretty funny. You better stop growling, dog. Bless you. Dog's over here sneezing. 
Let's see, should be going to the Weedles here soon. All these really cool Pikachus, the E-Series Pikachus. And then the Weedles, pages of Weedles. It is going a little longer than I expected it to. More Weedles. I don't have any first edition Weedles, which kind of sucks. I do have a couple Shadowless. So I'll probably send those off to get graded eventually. I got three actually. I uh, got one of these graded already, which was pretty cool. A bunch more base set, then a bunch of other sets. This one's really cool. It's like that really cool hollow pattern. I like that one. The Delta Species Hollow Weedle. I have that first edition Weedle, which is cool. I got the two uh, vending series. This dog. I know you can hear him in the background crying. This Ditto collection here, which is really cool. I'm still missing a couple from that collection. I'm hoping to get those eventually. I thought they were cool. And then again, more just random cards that I found and put into a binder. I think these are, some of these are shadowless anyway. This is shadowless. I think that's shadowless. That is not shadowless. So I guess just two of these are shadowless and the rest are just random cards I had and I put into this binder. Japanese, some Vaporeon, and then again more Tyranitar, it's pretty cool, didn't know I had that. And then the last Kadabra card ever made from Sky Ridge. Sky Ridge was the last set to ever print Kadabra, and I have two of them that I got for a dollar a piece at the sale. Thought that was really cool. And now we get into this binder here. Again, this is more of just stuff thrown together, but it's more like e-reader series, things like that. Um, it's kind of just all mumble jumbled together. You'll see as I go through what I'm talking about. There's a lot of rares and stuff in here, a lot of hollows in here, just a bunch of random stuff. This guy, which doesn't even belong in here. A lot of e-series, a lot of Neo cards. More of these, you saw some of these guys earlier in another binder. A random Power Rangers card. I don't even know why that's in here, but it's pretty funny. Another Weedle, Japanese Weedle. These are just random thrown, off, thrown in here. I don't know why they're so all over the place, but they are. Original Team Rockets, holographics, that's pretty cool. I got a couple of Entes. I don't know where the rest of them are, but I got a few of them. Delayed. That's pretty cool. May I help you, dog? Why are you running all over my house? Now, this is the Spanish Shaman Level X. That one's pretty cool. Some Japanese cards. Team Rocket Returns. Wobbuffet. Pretty cool card. There's a lot of really cool cards in here. Let me know what you guys think of these uh, these cards. Let me know which one of these is your favorite card out of all these binders. I have one more binder to go after this one. I think this one's pretty cool because you can't really see the name in certain light. Let me actually pull this out. It's hard to see the name in certain lights. So you kind of have to like turn it in certain ways. It's really cool. One of the coolest Japanese cards I've seen. And it says first edition. I don't know if that's really how it is. I put this in here because it's ridiculously off-center, as you can see. That'd be a good one to send a PSA to get the OC grade. A lot of reverse hollows. Loads of reverse hollows, apparently. Another one of these really cool hollow pattern cards. It's got, like, all the different types of things in here. It's got, like, the fire symbol, the metal symbol, the fighting symbol, the psychic grass. All that. It's pretty cool. One of the cooler ho hollow patterns I've seen. Love disc has the same thing. What does that say? Dragon something. I don't know. I can't read that. Kind of looks like it says Dragon Frontiers. That would be pretty cool. Probably because these other two are Dragon Frontiers. So I guess these are just reverse hollows. Diamond and Pearl. Crystal Guardians. Unseen Forces. Deoxys, a few of those, Delta Species, got a bunch of those, Legend Makers, Power Keepers, a bunch of sets that I personally never opened and never got to. And we got our band cards, a couple of those, Misty's Tears, which 
this kind of hurt my hurt my soul a little bit. I got this card in, and before I opened it, my cat started to chew at the uh, the packaging that it was in, and she did end up getting the card a few times. Sadly, I'm not sure if you can see it, but she did a little. There it is. She did a little bit of damage to it, so it's a little sad. Uh, I did have every intention on getting that graded, but at this point, it's kind of a moot point, I guess you could say. It's pointless. Uh, some of the extra rule cards, those are pretty cool. I really like those. I believe that's the whole set there. And then some league cards, a couple of staff cards, and then the, what you call it, cards, the pre-release cards. I do have a complete of a few of them, just not all of them. Evolving Skies, I have another one of these somewhere too. I don't know where it is though. Darkness Blaze, I'm only missing the one. I don't remember what, no, I'm not, never mind. I thought I was missing one, but I'm not. Cosmic Eclipse, I'm missing a couple. I'm missing one Cosmic Eclipse. I have the whole Rebel Clash. I think that's pretty much all of them. Chilling Rain, I'm missing two. Battle Styles, I'm missing pretty much all of them. I do have the entire Detective Pikachu one. I think the Pikachu's actually in the other binder. I got real breaking name. I got some signed cards here. Delta Zard, t rex um, what's that guy's name? Jason Page, I got a couple of his cards signed. It's pretty cool. Some of these gym cards. I opened up a few packs of these gyms. The Marnie cards, you got three from each set. I think this is more banned cards, I don't really know. This was the promo from the cereal. I believe these two are from the cereals from this year. Some Prism cards. Some more random cards. Some Abracadabra Alakazam situations going on here. I don't know why those are out of here. Oh, look, another no symbol rarity. No, no rarity symbol. That's pretty cool. Didn't know I had that either. And then it is the complete Japanese Detective Pikachu set. Every card in the set. Can you stop walking around the house, dog? Go lay down. She's making so much noise, stomping all over the house. We got this guy here. I had to, uh, a friend of mine lives in Japan right now. He's stationed there. He sent me a bunch of these cards. Um, he completed the set and he got me a complete set, which is really cool. And then the last binder is probably one of my favorite binders. I know this video is pushing 30 minutes now, uh, but this is definitely one of my favorite binders. This is my mostly Wizards of the Coast binder. Uh, a lot of the hollows and stuff that are from the older sets from the Wizards of the Coast era. There are some obviously newer than that, but a lot of these are Wizards of the Coast era. Oh man, some really cool cars. My Brock's Ninetales first edition, which is in horrible shape. Out there playing with the doll or the cat again. Some really, really cool cards in here. A bunch of Weezings. I have a load of Weezings. Dark Slow Bro, Dark Hip now. I believe somebody was looking for one of these recently. I'm going to have to figure out who it was. Now, sadly, before I started, like, really recollecting again about three and a half, four years ago, I sold a lot of my hollows, uh, like my haunters, my hypnos. I sold a lot of them because I was just, I really wasn't into it. I was getting ready to get out of it, like, completely out of it. And then I kind of sold a bunch of them off. And then once I did, I was like, why am I doing this? And kind of changed my mind and started collecting again. Um, that was uh, right around Evolutions, actually, I started doing that. So maybe it was like five years ago. And then Evolutions came out and kind of re-kickstarted my collecting. And uh, I did a lot of Hidden Fates and Shining Legends, stuff like that. Just not as much as I would have wanted to. I know, dog. You just want to run all over the house. I know. So there's a bunch of cool stuff in here. My, uh, my Kangaskhan that I got from a collection I thought was pretty cool because it looked like somebody had bent it in half. Pretty cool. Some people don't think stuff like this is cool, but I do. I just, I see that as like, it has a history. Here's another one my cat got a hold of. I was taking cards out to send to PSA and I left the stack out and that's what happens when you leave cards out with cats. They like to chew on cardboard and paper. So that's what happened. Dark Dragonite with a monster swirl right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's there. A bunch of really cool cards. Now, some of these, the missing slots, are cards that I had sent off to get graded with other companies. So there was a Polyrath I sent off to get graded. 
Um, I don't remember if it was MG cards or whatever. Oh. Stop growling, dog. Stop growling at me. I'm your owner. I'm nice to you. Oh. You better calm down, dog. Calm down. Anyway, victory bells. I got the hollow and the non-hollow over here. The no symbol scyther down here, which is pretty cool. I do have that graded also. It's in my in my box of graded cards. The Japanese Ar Arctic Uno. The number one bird, if you didn't know, Arctic Uno. Zapdos, the number two bird. And then Moltres, the number three bird. This card I got from another old collection, which is completely destroyed, but it's still pretty cool. A couple of Venusaurs. Got the English and Japanese version. Erica's Venusaurs. Got a couple of these graded also. These are cool. This is from a deck or something, I think. I don't really remember where this is from. Maybe it's like a CD promo. I don't really remember. I just know it has a lightning bolt on it, and I thought it was pretty cool. Might be the CD promo. There's the birds again for some reason there. Then it goes into my Blastoise collection here. Base set Blastoise, Rockets Blastoise. I did get one of these graded recently also too. I believe I gave one away to somebody already. Moving on, we're going to the Charizards. We got ourselves a few Charizards here. 90% of the Charizards I have are at PSA right now. I did a massive Charizard submission not too long ago. Now this one's horrible. Is that ripped or is that just... I think that's ripped. Can't tell. You see that? One of my favorite Charizard cards. I got that from eBay not too long ago. Dirt cheap, I think it was like three or four dollars I paid for that, which is still bad for a ripped card, but it is what it is. I thought it was cool. These guys here. I did trade, sadly, my Cora Cora Mew a little while back. Somebody made me a deal. I really couldn't pass up on some cards that I really wanted, so I did trade it. So I'm going to be looking for another Cora Cora here not too long. We got the Japanese Fossil Holographic. I need to find the English version of the Hollow so I can get that graded for my slab collection. I'm trying to do the original 151 in PSA and CGC, preferably first edition, but Mew didn't have a first edition, so that's going to be one that's not. The Mew EX, which is the um world championship card which is still really cool the original one i think this is the one they used for the um the new celebrations card actually which is really cool one of my favorite artworks from you 100 percent. this one's cool too and i really like this one but it just this one just kind of takes the cake on it it's a really really cool card i think next is mewtwo it is mewtwo so we got a couple of hollow base set mewtwo's we got this really cool guy here the holographic, it's worth quite a bit of money from what I hear, but I don't really care because that's not what I'm all about. We got the WB promo. We got the other, um, what you call it, vending series. We do have the Mew vending series. We got the Mewtwo vending series. This is the uh, Mewtwo from that other, the same as this one. Not the same set, obviously, but from the World Championship is what I was trying to say. Cracked Ice, Reverse Hollow, and Regular from whatchamacallit from gen yeah <laughs> i can't even say it evolutions i could not get the words out the armored mewtwo which was from a it's a promo card from some box i don't know i have a lot of mewtwo's in here loads of mewtwo's and a couple of these guys this is the xerneas i think this is also from celebrations that is the celebrations re-art re-arted artwork i guess you could say and then some of the evolutions we got here we got the Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Sounds very French. Moving right along. Some of the coolest cards ever. I believe those are Generations from the Radiant Collection, I believe is what that is from. Very, very cool. Then we got our Rainbow Rare, Leafeon, and Glaceon. I believe there's a Shiny in here somewhere also. Yeah, the Espeon Shiny. A lot of really cool cards in here. Pushing 34 minutes. Wow. It's a long video. So that's the last page. I guess that's going to do it for this video. If you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you very much. I know it's a little longer than a normal video is. I'll pull these back out here to give you one more look at these again. We got the 450 subscriber giveaway right here. That will be the next giveaway. Once we hit that, we'll be heading on to 500. I'll be halfway to the 1,000 subscriber goal. And the 1,000 subscriber, we're giving away a Shiny Star V 
graded, I think it's like a 9.5 Charizard, which is really cool. Um, we're going to do a booster box break of battle styles. We're going to give away all of those hits also. And there's a few other things getting added in as I go along once I get to that point. But for now, these are going to be the giveaways until we hit that point. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead now. We're going to be giving all of this away. There's 22 total slabs up until we hit 1,000 plus multiples in between. I'm giving away other things just for random subscriber goals when I do my lives. I do live feeds every once in a while. If we hit a subscriber goal during a live feed, I give away a slab. Um, I've done it before. I'll do it again. I mean, it's I have slabs set aside specifically just for giveaways, things like that. And I'm going to do a lot of GMA submissions, hopefully soon. Um, and that'll just give me a lot more to give away in the future. But thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye.